Presidency speaks on Tunubu certificate forgery saga, says that Tiku beat hands that once fed him. How? They want to take it to uh, what they call it, sympathy level now. Eh? They want to take it to uh, a pathetic tone, emotional tone. But that will not stop what is going on. We really need to be realistic about what is happening here and need to be honest about it. That is it. So let's hear what APC is trying to say um you know that uh, atiku did because atiku is fighting for his right atiku was cheated and has the right to retrieve his mandate that is the truth what happened during that presidential election of february 25 2023 nobody is happy with it and nobody loved it the only thing tinubu is forging ahead with violence the same thing he said before the election that they have to snatch it they have to hit it they have to beat it they have to fight for it and they have to run with it the, that is what he's doing. He's just all electoral violence and violating all Nigerian laws because he's used to violating laws. So it doesn't mean anything to him. He lacks single iota of integrity. That is bad. So it's not about Atiku biting or beating the hand that once fed him. It's about uh, Atiku retrieving his mandate and re refusing to be ridiculed. That is it. He has he has the right to fight for his right. Senior special assistant to President Bola Tinubu on media, Temitopi Ajayi, has said the humiliation his principal had suffered due to the academic record controversy cannot be compared to the question of whether or not the Nigerian leader graduated from Chicago State University in the U.S. Okay, Nigerian News recalls that Chicago State University had released Tinubu's academic records following the request by the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar. So the University of Monday presented to Atiku's legal team a catch of documents connected to Tinubu's education at the institution and copies of certificates which redacted names issued to other persons about the same time uh, the Nigerian president finished from the school in 1979. Reacting, Ajayi via the micro blogging platform formerly known as X uh, 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 Twitter, okay, <laughs> that is uh, not formally known as X, now known as X, formally known as, formally Twitter, said that Atiku Abubakar of the PDP demonstrated the behavior synonymous with biting or uh, biting the hands that once fed him all in pursuit of earthly position. He is still not pursuing earthly position, so why is this guy trying to sound pathetic? You call it earthly. If it's earthly, let Tinubu now resign now because of integrity issues, because of all the integrity issues on his neck. So why is Tinubu throwing uh, integrity to the bush because of earthly position as well? Let's be let's 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 analyze this. For me, this issue is not whether President Tinubu graduated from Chicago State University or not. Ajayi wrote on X on the Tuesday evening. It is the fact that former Vice President Atiku is not a decent man. So, if you compare Atiku and Tinubu now, who is more decent? We know that before now, Atiku is seen to be very dirty, very corrupt, and had a very huge appetite for corruption, okay, according to testimony that came from Obasanjo after the eight years tenure in office between 1999 and 2007. But right now, with what is emanating from Tinubu's side, Atiku appears to be a saint. Let's be frank. Okay, Atiku is appearing to be a saint wherever Tinubu is mentioned at this moment. So you cannot say that uh, Atiku is not a decent man. Is Tinubu decent? Between Atiku and Tinubu, who is more decent at this point? <coughs> we know that on a, on a larger scale, both of them might not be decent. Okay, and both of them are not decent. But at this moment, we cannot say that Tinubu is more decent than Atiku. So then he continues saying, nobody should subject his or her friend to the level of assault and indignity he has subjected President Tinubu to because of earthly position and contestation for power, Ajayi added. So the presidential AD recounted instances where Tinubu reportedly moved mountains for Atiku in the past and sheltered him when he was thoroughly beaten by rain and stripped naked by President Lichekun Obasanjo and his party PDP in 2007. So what are you saying? 
Olusegun Obasanjo was Nigeria's president between 1999 and 2007. And Mr. Abubakar served as his vice uh, president. But both men later fell off after Abbasanjo claimed Abubakar was disloyal. No friend should become what Ikiti people call Alini Mwadei, a relentless pursuer like former VP Atiku, uh, Atiku, relentless of the prize. Ajayi wrote in his angry tirage against the PDP presidential candidate. Yeah, so he is now trying to be sentimental. Okay, now the thing has gone beyond religious and tribe now. Okay, now when the article and Tinubu contested, and you have, you have forgotten that you used to say that politics is, uh, is uh, there's no friend or enemy, it's all about personal interest. Okay, okay. There's no permanent friend or permanent enemy. It's all about per per permanent interest. So it's the interest that is driving them. So as Atiku has his own interest, so Tinubu has his own interest. Okay, if that is the case, why didn't Tinubu step down for Atiku? Okay, so the issue now is it's gone beyond what is happening between Atiku and Tinubu. It's about national integrity now. Because the country, again, cannot be better than its leaders. So now we have a crop of leaders that are corrupt from head to toe that corrupt to the teeth, corrupt to their tongue and what they say. So this kind of people representing Nigeria home and abroad has painted Nigeria blue, black and red, both locally in the country and on the international stage. And I tell you, even though Tinubu said that uh, that uh, whatever CSU is going to release will cause him irreparable damage with respect to his certificate, what Tinubu is doing now is causing Nigerians home and abroad more irreparable damage than is causing to himself. That is the truth. And if Nigerians are reasonable and are determined, this is the best time to oust such person out of office because the credibility of Nigerians has just gone to below zero because of the condition and credibility of his leaders. We have crop of leaders that are corrupt and are not even ready to repent. These ones have shared their conscience with hot iron and nothing will ever change them. That is the truth. Nothing will ever change them. If people at the age of 60s, 70s, 80s are lying to their teeth like Lai Mohammed, I tell you, I don't think there's anyone that will change among them. And, and the question is, what, and what, what, uh, precedent are they putting down? What, what foundation are they laying for the younger generation, which include their own children, their grandchildren, and their great grandchildren to follow after they have passed on? This is very, very terrible. This is like laying the worst of foundations for a nation, for a nation to, to ride on. And it is in, it is a kind of foundation that will haunt Nigeria in decades and centuries to come. I tell you, whatever Tinubu is doing today will be on record for the rest of his life and for the, for the, for as long as Nigeria continues to exist. And even if Nigeria disintegrates today, Tinubu's story will never be erased and it's not for good. So why can't such person to show decency Try to resign and go back to St. Clifford. In fact, when after knowing that he has a very dirty record, why did he even come out to contest in the first place? He should have remained in his house and enjoy his life as an elder statesman and nobody will come and investigate him in his house. But because of greed for power and for earthly position, he has gone to this level and now look at what is coming out of it. This damage that is going to suffer, because this is just chapter one or part one of the damage. This part two is when FBI will start releasing his dossier, okay, from next week. That will be the, the one that will break the back of, of, of the camera. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment.